Isn't it past your bedtime? Hey everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. In the last, the last episode, we did some go a good work around Colony 6, and we hopefully helped a writer out in making his story come true. <laughs> By story, I mean real life. Anyway, starting off, we are having an encounter with this bad boy, Canyon Ca Canyon Valencia. Weirdly, he's meant to be out in the mornings, but um, yep, yeah, here he is. And he attacked me, and I was at the bottom, and I've never had that happen to me before, so it's quite a surprise. No, yeah, and he's here near 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 midnight. Anyway, starting off, uh, starting off though, this guy has a few a few bites to him. His first and foremost attack is Verse Crash, which can knock you back twice. And seeing how you're on the edge, as you can probably, <laughs> probably, probably, probably tell, that's not going to be good for you. Speed up, it's so it's self explanatory. He speeds himself up. Winged Fury, which is his cray, his cray state, so yeah, best be on the lookout for that if you ever have a chance. And Hard Crash, which can a daze you, so again, being on here and leaving you vulnerable is probably not a good idea. Mm. And, la and last but not least is Gale, in which in my own opinion it is the worst of his attacks. It knocks you back and the dazes you. Anyway though. Starting off though, this guy is pretty bad if you're not prepared. But what I would recommend is you is you would get into uh, the cave, but don't go too far because there are hoxes that are behind you, th and and they can gang up up on you, mm -hmm. which is not a good idea. And I'm just here, I'm just here buffing on my allies while Ryan and Ricky take all of uh, the hits. Uh, by hits, I mean wind. <laughs> as soon as, as soon as he's got his eyes on Ricky, I'm trying to give him a hand. And also put heel show counter on Ricky. Because Ricky's slightly happy. <laughs> and again, one of the disadvantages for Char uh, uh, of Charles is because, yeah, Aoife. But. <laughs> Uh, but I want them to keep Eva her here, just so she is out of the firing line, and we have a good chance at the hit. If only we had Thunderbolt. <laughs> uh huh. Oh well. I personally would like yeah, like like the setup for later later on, and I'll show you why. This guy is invulnerable to the break, apart from a chain attack, so. Yeah, pretty much a war of attrition, and if, if you can guess, his bread and butter speed. And that makes us miss even more. <laughs> but on the flip side, though, the more they miss, the more they get depressed, and the more and the more we can cheer them up. It's not near population, I swear. <laughs> like, like I, I did. just did. <laughs> Uh, have I ever mentioned that I love you? <laughs> Natural in sync. They're ah, screwed up. Ser seriously, guys, what the hell? Ricky, please don't hit. I How? think. Yeah, I, th one. I think either attacks can hit easier. Uh, makes me wonder how is how how's Ricky who's so short? Hey, able to hit him. <laughs> the wonders of which I'll never know. And we have a war of <laughs> a war of attrition, and with a little, a little help from our not one friend, we get goods before before we get the proper goods. <laughs> and no visions that need to be beaten up, so that's pretty good. A good fight, all things considered. And Shaker Edge. Yep. In case you need to know, the art box he drops is Shaker Edge, Covert Stance. Double blade and double wind, and so much for that. We got I got double, if not triple, oops, silver robo wings. <laughs> and I think that I, that was 
a good play a good place to start and now we can tell a certain a certain homes that Ricky went swimming <laughs> and it's always raining when we're recording <laughs> yeah it rained it rained for 40 days and 40 nights last episode so now why not now <laughs> anyway we'll see you back in corner in which we can tell not Ricky that Nikki is good to go <laughs> Hello, Noporiki. I, the bird, bird, bird lady and savior of Gunny Six, bring greetings. Your return triumphant. Next, you need to defeat multiple enemies. Go to Bayan's leg and defeat ten Tempest Fangs. Do not let your, do not let down your guard. In Windy Cave. Goodbye, friends. <laughs> I have Nopon Hat. I pretend to be Toad. <laughs> hey, I'm Toad. Me toad. Toad pawn. Toad, toad, toad pawn. Pawn toad? <laughs> Pond toad? Ah, ah, ah. No toad. No toad! <laughs> <laughs> That's what a game about Abbot Mario will, ne who will never be. <laughs> no toad. It's either that or, it's either that or Mario, Mario being pissed off with toads cons constantly. <laughs> no, Todd! Piss off! <laughs> That's what he says in Mario Kart er for every single track. <laughs> no, Todd! It's a Mario time! Piss off! <laughs> anyway, while well, talking about other things, I suppose. You know, tangents and whatnot. That we're no, no, known for, unfortunately. <laughs> we got to take our Vangs in the Windy Cave. So, yep, we shall take all those autos down. And we'll see you back with Napa Ricky. Providing we don't get any art books. <laughs> and the rage will ensue. Again. <laughs> Good lord, it did it the last time. <laughs> Tempest Vangs, prepare to die. Don't know why it's still like that, but it still counts. That's how I like it, guys. Take them down in one fell sweep. Ryan, it's swoop, not sweep. Did you even try to go to school? Yeah, Ryan is cleaner. So like sweeping. <laughs> why do I waste my time? I don't know, Charla. You hang out. You hang out. Uh, you hang out with the uh, these boys. <laughs> and by boys, I mean a teenager and an up one. And yeah, Charla's pretty much the mom of this group. <laughs> Come on now, Ryan. It's let's get out of the rain. Oh, but Charla, I don't wanna. <laughs> now, now, Ryan. Otherwise, otherwise, no food for you. Oh man, <laughs> but a lot of food. A lot of food, Tom. <laughs> and Ryan, Tom, I don't like this. Oh, I hate spiders, mommy, help me. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I hate these things. I hate everything. I don't know what accent I'm doing with this. I'm just gonna switch it up on the fly. <laughs> What are you doing? Well, I'm, I'm a Kennedy. I'm not accustomed to tragedy. Nothing bad ever happens to the Kennedys. <laughs> uh, American Secret Service, please don't hate, hate me. Now, film again, they probably do. Honestly though, speak, speaking of accents, it does make me kind of wonder what would happen if like, you know how silly and perhaps over the, the top Xenoblade 2's accents are? What would happen if they went the complete southern end and just made Xenoblade X2 like complete like southern accents? <laughs> it's like, how, how do y'all, the, the, I just the Monado's power <laughs> and all that jazz. I we're gonna save you, man, and to y'all. <laughs> we'll beat him up with the power of a who, nanny. <laughs> You'd lead your last haw, sucker. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> Which, in this episode, we are just on our mission to insult and, and just be incentive to every ethnicity ever. <laughs> it shook with Spanish and he had speed. Handily, handily, arriba, arriba. <laughs> I am so sorry to everyone around the world. Oh, God. <laughs> Does make me curious though on what accents that they would and Monolith would insist on doing next. <laughs> like do like do Zing Blade Chronicles but in Mexico. <laughs> or maybe some of them thinking like pretty Antarcticas. <laughs> as in like an Antarcticas as in as in more than one. The North Pole, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, is all about saving Christmas. <laughs> <sighs> or if or if they are definitely gonna be daring, perhaps they would do something like Universal. What if Xenoblade Chron Chronicles 3, depending on the region and religion, what if they were what if they wanted to save Kwanzaa? <laughs> or whatever national holidays they have. <laughs> yes, as you can probably tell, I'm very, I'm very culturally not knowledgeable. Well, I think Jesus was either talked about or seen in Xeno Saga. So Monolith have done religion before. Wait, wait, seriously? Yeah, there's even a, there's even a, a um, an article on the Xeno Wiki dedicated to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> on the Xeno Wiki. <laughs> same you... thing. Same thing with Kenya. Are you serious? Yeah. They, <laughs> I think the no contact Xenoblade page for that one. <laughs> oh my god! So Xeno Saga thing. <laughs> Space Jesus. <laughs> oh god! I... <laughs> Honestly, it makes me want. And we want to see and um, uh, play Xeno Saga now. <laughs> and so, for the Holy Bible says, Thou is the Monado's power. <laughs> and it was on that day which Jesus stood on top of the cliffside in front of all his disciples and uttered the words, I am really feeling it. <laughs> Ah oh, yes, insult, insulting the church. That's a good way to do it. So what? Uh, so what have we come with so far in this episode? We have insult, insulted Americans, insulted Brit, insulted Brin, insulted national holidays, and now, and now insulting Jesus. <laughs> so far, good start. But the Xeno, but the Xeno Wiki page. The Xeno Wiki website does have some useless pages, like it has a page on humans from Xenoblade X. Humans are a species that lived on the planet Earth. That thing is every article ever. <laughs> every article 101. Human, humans existed. <laughs> That's pretty much what I always say about living 101. Just breathe. <laughs> I think that's anything 101. Look at me spinning in circles. <laughs> Get it, Charlotte. Man, what a bunch of jokers. Don't please. Don't please. Well, it's useful for the character we have! <laughs> yeah! And strength 5. Yay! I'm a man of multiple languages, it would seem. Annoying, in English, loud, and underwater. <laughs> totally different languages. 
My, mm, mm, uh, my favorite? Incessant screams. No, well, as the old saying goes, my favorite part about sh arrow shooting at the hell up is, is when you do it. Says all of you as ever. Most of the war are towards me. You're, you're good. I don't think so. People are probably annoyed by me too. Eh, no. Especially because like I laugh a lot, and people are probably annoyed by that my high pitched laugh. Mm. Nah, I think they're more. I I I think they're annoyed by me stumbling through my words, <laughs> as if I were Rex. <laughs> I mean, being Rex, she, she, she isn't a bad thing. Cause you have friendship! And preferably two, and preferably two hot blades next to you. But, but you'll never acknowledge I could, I, I could, I could, you're stupid. And you're a salvager. I salvage. I salvage my dignity. <laughs> I try, but I'll fail. And back to the accents again. My god, we're revolving around the top. A top of a pig this episode. <laughs> Getting kind of tired of show saying that. <laughs> no, but no! <laughs> he vanished! Shala stepped on him and killed him! <laughs> Shala, the savior, yet murderer of Colony 6. <laughs> Anyway, many vangs, many vangs killed, and accents insulted later. No, in the job done. Oh, you're back! So I asks you, which be the more di difficult? Difficult or time, or time consuming? Because we, we get enemies, time consuming, but one, one strong enemy? Yeah. <laughs> I see a single strong enemy. In that case, I will have Nick fight multiple weak, weaker enemies. I would not throw him directly into the deep end. <laughs> I would. We should have answered weak enemies and, and throw him into the deep end. And have his Krev be officially kicked in. <laughs> well, it seems like we have our answer now. Nice and work. You ready for more? No. Good we, footing six. We get we get good footing and lots lots of experience, which is all well and good. Is that our level? Is that our first level six gym? I believe it might be, cause I don't think we've hit le level six yet. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe one day we'll get an unbeatable six, just like Alvis, <laughs> who's, get, who's getting very very pissed off that we haven't done our <laughs> objective yet. <laughs> I've said before, but Dixon and him are in a bar somewhere, drinking and getting wasted, waiting impatiently for us to show up, but in which we, in which we never will. And Eggles given up by this point. From a corner, it's just there, just as twiddling its thumbs. <laughs> Don't know what you're look at, looking at. Nope, it's not the best view from here. <laughs> You're saying you might want to view to a better, a better point of view. Hey, Nick, what you got to say after, after your tra training, so on and so forth? Who would have thought I'd be training on the up on master? People make fun of me, but he helped me discover my inner warrior by do by doing push-ups. <laughs> and hello, Deep King. King squeeze. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought you left. Oh, well, Father Christmas, where do we go to now? Are you working on your relationship with other people? Working on your feelings with people is really, is really important. Well, the people in this world are connected somehow, some way. If you don't manage to meet them, or would never be brilliant. Of course, you don't have to. Just don't talk to my twin brother. Yeah. He's kind of a prat. He's kind of a douche. He's exploitative. <laughs> my God, does he make a lot of money? <laughs> anyway, though, one thing that we want to do real quick is we want to talk. To, to this chap again, because see, it seems like the story is not over. How's it going? The advice you collected for me was perfect for writing my book. I've been sweating blood and tears to finish it for Matrona. I'll have to rewrite because it's now all disgusting. <laughs> the book has to tell her everything I feel for her. I'm worried about whether I make her understand my feelings. 
How about just say, I like you. The end. Why Best... do we help so many people with their love life? We can't provide our own our own feelings. <laughs> she won't. Will she? I said I was ready, but I just can't find the courage to hand it to her. That's why I decided to go on a trip to find some courage. That sounds dangerous, Ewan. It's no walk in the park outside of the colony. Don't you think I know that? But I have to go. When I face a terrible beast, I'll face it as a man. Then I'll give my courage to give Maturna my book. Maturna isn't a monster. She won't bite your head off. You don't know that. We women are scary. scary. <laughs> well, I, I understand that. I don't think you do. <laughs> but if she rejects me, it'll be worse than being eaten alive. Wow, okay. If you say so, dude, like my friends, my destiny is my own now. I can count on you support if things get rougher there. Right? Now, I must decide whether to go to the marsh or the Eva mine. If I find myself in the pickle, you're, you can help me, right? I appreciate it. This guy is officially an idiot. <laughs> because it, yes, and my destiny is, is my own. Provided you're there to back me up and hold my hand and wipe my bumsy if everything gets, you know, a bit too da dangerous. <laughs> Not on cut the toy shop. He's in the he's in the mine. Whereabouts in the mine? Glomoss Lake. You can find him in the marsh too, and he'll trade for something that you need for another side quest. Which is? I don't remember what it is, but I, I wish we would have been able to trade with him at the time. I just know that for a fact. Yeah. There he is. Look at his panicked face. He, he's in trouble. Let's trade. <laughs> oh, you want to trade? At a time like this where I'm scared out of my wits. And also, fun fact, he has a unique animation for that. Because not a lot of NPCs have this animation. Small thing, but I still like it. Anyway, <laughs> let's go to the marsh and see, and, and, and see what he has to trade. <laughs> Speakers died. Oh, good God. <laughs> <laughs> Although right now it's splitters dying inside. We need to get a new one. <laughs> yeah, if you need new speakers, this song will tell you. Yep. It'll make your speakers crackle if they need repaired. It, it, it broke me. <laughs> You had to come this way, didn't you, you arrogant little bastard? <laughs> How did you even get there anyway? Now, this is where the guy, uh, uh, the guy is. As you can tell he's nicely rubbing himself up against uh, the fresh meat. <laughs> Good wolf. But in the case, you're being hunted. In fact, you found the pet dog. Let's trade. <laughs> Can you, before you get munched on, give us goods. Opa seeds are good in this particular case. That's that's what it is. I hate you. 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 If you couldn't tell, I hate this guy. You know what I say? <laughs> ah! And, appar and apparently, us laughing at his misfortune gives us a queen cocoon. <laughs> Not sure how you get that, but oh well. Anyway, the choice uh, the choice you make in whether you want to save him in the ether mine or the marsh, it do it it doesn't make a difference. However, you do want to come to the marsh because the hung who for the hungry wolf. Is a unique quest, quest enemy. So why not? I just, I, I just can't, can't do it. I'll be killed. He keeps sniffing at me. Oh God! But I don't even talk about the goggles. No. And then Mocha won't get to read my book. Ah, uh, it's you. Thank the stars. Get rid of that hungry wolf. I saw you for me. 
This is an e an easier quest to do with as well because in the marsh you have to uh, defeat the u unique monster. However, it might have trouble respawning and sometimes you think that the quest is broken. Trust me, I felt that before. It's happened. It's annoying. I hope they fix that in the HCE remake. <laughs> anyway, uh, anyway, let's kill Hungry Wolf. He's not unique at all, he just has higher stats and has the no, no bits and bobs that are wolf, wolf entails. But since he's always a quest exclusive eating monster, he always drops a silver chest. Mm -hmm. Now, you're saved. How are you doing? I knew I wasn't going to cut out for this adventuring. I, if I can't survive such an ordeal, I can hand uh, I can hand my book to Matrona. I'm ready to confess to her. Thanks for helping me out. He died. Go he died going going back home. <laughs> Let me get Day's ten attention. Trust me, I think that's intention between those two if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's let's go back. And see how the guy did. Are they a couple or is he slumped out in the bar somewhere? <laughs> Get, getting to know Alvis. Well, all I know is this rain's a definite foreboding emotion. <laughs> it always rains. Yes. Lord knows why. <laughs> Let's talk to Matrona and see what she feels. Me. Hello there. Are you those people who were helping out Ewan? I want to paint a picture for Ewan as wonderfully written as his book. The thing is, I don't have all the materials I need to make paints. And I'm in the middle of an artist funk, you might say. Ain't, ain't nothing like a funky beat. <laughs> Could you help me out? Matrona, that is amazing. What are you going to say to him? I'm dying to find out. I can't tell you it's a secret. I'm still deciding how best to express my feelings. But don't worry, Sharla. By the time you return with what I need, I'll have made up my mind. If you say so, Matronia, but remember, follow your heart. I'll need one of the following materials to paint my picture. A lake drop from the bonus leg, or a nasty weed from Zatoral. I will have decided how best to paint the picture when you return. I'm sorry you have to go so far to get them. Be careful. And remember, follow your heart, like I did. <laughs> we got the leg drop. How do we get it already? I have no idea. Is it because we picked up two? Mm, I don't know. Maybe, just give me a moment here. We have the leg drop here. Let's talk to her and give her the goods. Me. You brought me a leg drop? This is exactly what I need to finish off my painting. I'll just add the finishing touches. Will you wait here while I finish? There, all finished. Please give this to Ewan. I'll do I do what he likes. I put my whole heart into it. Beautiful portrait. But guess what, lady? He's right there. I don't see why you couldn't give it to him in the first place, but oh well. I guess we're homing pigeons. Oh <laughs> Is that Matrona's painting? So she's answering me with a painting? Only a creative, talented woman such as her would think of that. Let me take a closer look. It's brilliant! I can feel its warmth and kindness exploding from the canvas. Quick, I need you to go and tell her Matrona that I love it. She's right there! Just shout it if you need to! <laughs> Good God! Tell her I'll come. I'll come visit her later on. Ooh. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> you are, lady. He says he loved it. <laughs> Asshole. What did you say? How did you react to the portrait? I hope anyone and I can be happy to get elected in portrait. I guess. I guess we're dead. Good. <laughs> I don't know how to thank you. Maybe one day I can paint you and your friends together. 
That I would really, really, really like. That, that she vanished without a trace. And we get Blaze attack. That's what I'm talking about. And we get Selfless Giver and Ryan and Sharla level up. Well, a Sharla thanks Gado. <laughs> and hopes that he can see, see her. And they're together, so that's really, that's really nice. <laughs> Me and I Miss mean, Sarah, we have chat to the two lo lovebirds. You wouldn't believe it even if I told you. The look old used to give me was scarier than a, ra a rabid vault. The old change I have to show me her my picture book. Who came to me to today? And then they're friends. Hooray. Matrona, what about you? People have started to look at Ewan a little differently. Some even thanked him for all his hard work. So I guess this was all about making Ewan better. Good for him. Anyway, though, if you were to get the hideous weed um, in the marsh, you would get this. It would create a hideous painting. And its root B si simply states, Matrona produced a hideous portrait, which she used to dump Ewan. <laughs> Harsh words, but thankfully, it, it, it was a simple choice, you see. In love, it's a simple choices that can make the best outcomes. But how did we have the lake drop already? Apparently you can get it in the marsh somewhere. Hmm. But oh well. I'm not going to complain. Mm -hmm. I think we'll end things in half here. And next episode, we're inching closer. The ominous Maconis is upon us. But we've still got a few things to do. So... For that guys, thank you all for watching, and as, as as always, if you liked the video, by all means like it, if you disliked it, and by all means all the accents, all the insulting, and all of the possible racism, then you know where, where to go. But, if you liked all that, subscribe to see more, <laughs> I guess. Thanks for watching guys, and we'll see you next time.